Greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Still reading from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17. And today we are looking at verse 16 to 19. The Bible says, For 40 days the Philistine came forward every morning and evening and took his stand. Now Jesse said to his son David, Take this ephah of roasted grain and these ten loaves of bread for your brothers and hurry to their camp. Take along these ten cheese to the commander of their unit. See how your brothers are and bring back some assurance from them. They are with Saul and all the men of Israel in the valley of Elah fighting against the Philistines. Praise the Lord. We've been looking at this portion of scripture where so far up to verse number 15 where we stopped yesterday. We saw that David was not very significant in the whole matter. Yet when we look at the heading on top from verse number one, we see that this is David and Goliath. He's not featuring in big matters, but small as he may appear, he is very key in our struggles. Yes, as we're reading from verse number 16, 40 days are not few days. They are quite a number of days. And the Philistine kept on coming forward every morning, every evening. It was a struggle. And as he came forth, he took his stand. Remember what he was telling the children of Israel? Why should you line up before me for battle? Give me a man. If we conquer you, you will become our slaves or our servants. If you conquer us, we will become your servants. We will serve you. Give me a man to fight with me. And the Philistine felt like he had all what he needed. And actually from verse number one, we can see that Goliath was well equipped. And every morning, every evening, he could come forth. In our struggles, in our battles as believers, sometimes we see situations presenting themselves to us every morning, every evening. They even seem like they're taking a stand. Don't fear. In verse number 17, Jesse was concerned about his sons who were out there in the battlefield. As we engage in the battlefield, God is concerned about our welfare. And God is not sending somebody. He has already sent help for you and me. Jesse sent his son, David. Again, David is, is involved in a very small way, but this time round, he's being sent to take the roasted grain and the loaves of bread to his brothers. And he's told, take along these 10 cheese to the commander of their unit. Jesse was concerned about the people who were out there in the battlefield. The Lord will always provide for you and me even in our struggles, as we continue confronting this Goliath, this Philistine, God is always ready to send help to us. And he has already sent great and enough, sufficient help for you and me. Again, the Bible talks about Jesse sending his son David. And he's told, see how your brothers are and bring back some assurance from them because yes we are out there in the battlefield but with Christ on our side there is great assurance Jesse was just sending his son David to go check on the brothers and bring some assurance from them our assurance is guaranteed because we have Christ on our side who fights our battles and in the battlefield the Lord will always provide bread for you and me. All what we need is provided. In the valley of Elah, these men of Israel, together with, with Jesse's sons, together with Saul, they were fighting the Philistines in the valley of Elah. And today, you may be feeling as though you are in the valley of Elah. I want to encourage you that there will come good news out of what you are facing because God is concerned about you 
God has provided a way and God will always be there for you. And Christ has conquered our battles. Be strong, be encouraged. Doesn't matter whether it is 40 days, doesn't matter whether situations are presenting themselves to you every morning, every evening. Christ has conquered the battles for us. May the Lord bless you. God keep you. Be encouraged. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.